Hey everybody, just a quick update from the Jay Slater GoFundMe. Today, his mum, Debbie Duncan, has left another update on there. And it goes, this is Debbie again. First, I would like to thank everyone for your support, kind messages and good wishes. It's difficult to wrap our heads around what is happening right now, but we are not losing hope that we will find Jay and return home together. We are currently working with GoFundMe. Remember, they put it on hold because of all the reports of fraud. They're working with GoFundMe to withdraw part of the funds, which are being safely held. That means GoFundMe are holding them back. I wanted to share that these funds will be used to support the mountain rescue teams who are tirelessly working, uh, sorry, searching for Jay. Additionally, since our stay in Tenerife needs to be extended, we will also use the funds to cover accommodation and food expenses. Now, my question would be there, are the British consulate getting involved in that? Because the embassy, surely they, as British citizens, would have that covered. I don't know. I need to look into that. It goes on. I'm surrounded by wonderful people who are by my side but far from their loved ones. So we'll also be using part of these funds to fly them to Tenerife so we can support each other during these dark times. Thank you again for all your donations and support. This means the world to us. So basically, they're going to be flying out the friends of the family and the family of the friends to join them on holiday in Tenerife using the GoFundMe. I find this shocking. Now, they've already got search and rescue, mountain rescue, police, local people looking, helicopters and drones, and the immediate family and some friends. What is bringing over more family and more friends and family of friends going to do in to aid the search for Jay? It seems to me that a lot of people now are going to get a free holiday to Tenerife. Surely these funds will be better used in the future if Jay isn't found, and I hope he is alive. In the future, if the Spanish police, they stop looking. They stop searching for Jay. They call it a day. Let's just say in one, two, three weeks, three months, whenever. They call it a day and say, we're not looking anymore. That's when you use the funds to start hiring people, maybe a private investigator. You could hire some search teams. That is when the money should be used. Right now, the family are getting accommodation covered and they've got every available source looking for Jay. I find this really, really shocking. I don't know what you guys think. That's just my opinion. I think that this should be kept and used in the future when there's no more searching, official searching for Jay. Let me know what you think in the comment section on this. I'll be live again soon. I'm not sure when. It might be tonight or tomorrow night. We'll do some updates, we'll see what's happening and I'll see you all next time. Thank you.